Okay, this is uh, section 4.3, Reduction in Co-Function Identity. This is Math C30, the tutorial for that. And we're going to just look at using the reduction identities and the co-function identities. Now, obviously that's in the back of your book on that page 257. But in the chapter, it's given to you on two, 152 for the reduction identities. And an example of that would mean like cosine of negative theta in brackets is equal to just cosine theta. So it's a reduction identity. Whereas if you flip over the, to the next page, on page 154, you have the cofunction identities, which are the 90 minus theta identities. Like, for example, cosine of 90 minus theta is equal to sine theta. So we're going to do, first of all, uh, a few different type of questions here. There's only three types that you can get in this section, and they're fairly simple. And it just says, write each as positive angles. Well, if you look at the uh, page 152 in your textbook, look at the reduction identity for cosine. Cosine of a negative angle is just the cosine of that angle positive. So this would just be written as cosine 76 as a positive angle. Okay, now we have one here for tangent. Okay, the tangent of a negative angle is actually the negative tan of the positive angle. So you have to take the negative out. So this would be like negative, negative 2, tan, oop, sorry, tan 46, if we change that to a positive. So then we just reduce that. Negative, negative means positive, so that would be 2 tan of 46. Okay, I started this one here accidentally. I sometimes do that when I'm writing out the questions before these tutorials, but so I scribbled it out here. What, how do we start here? Well, we look at the cotan uh, reduction identity, and the cotan reduction identity puts the negative out in front. So if we look at that, we keep the square brackets there. That would be like negative, negative cotan. 50 degrees, and then have the square bracket squared there. So two negatives together in the square brackets gives us a positive, so that's just square brackets cotan of 50 degree. And another way to write this is just cotan squared 50 degrees. Okay, now we'll look at writing out the uh, angle measure as in terms of a co-function angle. So what we have to do is we have to be looking at the page 154 now, and there's the co-function, six co-function identities there on the top. And we gotta look at sine. Well, sine 40, well, if you look at sine, okay, the, the co-function of sine is uh, 90, or cosine, 90 minus theta. So if we look at that as sine 40, if we put, if we look at the very first cofunction and say on the right side there, that it's instead of sine theta, it's sine 40, we'd have it in the form of cosine, that is equal cosine 90 minus 40. So then this would end up being cosine of 50 degrees. So the sine of 40 degrees is the same as the cosine of 50 degrees. Let's check that on the calculator, see if we're right. Okay, got it in degrees. 40 sine, uh, 0.6427, 50 cos, 0.64278. So we, we did that one okay. So that's that's how that works. Same thing with cotan. Cotan has a cofunction of tangent of tangent. So cotan of 32 would be the same as saying tan of 90 minus 32. In this case, this would be tan of 58. We could check that if we wanted, but we don't have cotan on the on the calculator. We'd have to go one over tan, so we'll we'll just leave that one. Now, the last area that I want to look at in this section is using cofunction and reduction identities together to convert into a positive angle, positive acute angle. How do we convert cosecant 200 degrees into a positive acute angle? Well, when it's above an acute angle, you start and it's positive, you can start by using the cofunction. So look at the cofunction for cosecant. 
So cosecant is secant 90 minus theta. So cosecant 90 minus that. And then work this out. This would be secant of negative 110. Now you have to move to the reduction identity for secant. So reduction identity for secant, if you note it, note it there, the negative angle is just the same as the positive of that. So this would then convert into secant 110 just. The negative doesn't come out here as if you look at your identity for secant. It doesn't come out for co cosine and secant, uh, mainly because of where they are and what quadrant they're dealing with. Okay, so now we still have to do another co-function there, but we have to do a co-function for secant. So if you look at secant now, as your co-function, secant is equal to cosecant 90 minus theta. So cosecant 90 minus 110, okay? And that would be cosecant of the negative 20 degrees. Okay, so now that's still not a positive angle, so we have to now convert to a positive angle. So go to your reduction identity for cosecant, and you'll notice that cosecant of the negative theta is equal to negative cosecant theta. So this would be negative cosecant 20. And that would be, we could probably check that if, if we had cosecant, and we're thinking to ourselves, well, we can if we want, because we know what cosecant is, right? It's a reciprocal identity for, uh, for uh, a cosine, or not cosine, sorry. For, for sine. So we can use the sine value of 20 and take it as a reciprocal if we wanted to calculate it out and check our example here. And I'm just going to double check, make sure I didn't confuse myself there. Nope. We'll double check it then. So if I take the sine of 200 and take the reciprocal of it, okay? And take the reciprocal of it. So I'll go shift reciprocal. Is my reciprocal button's there. So that gives me negative 2.92. Now let's check to see if the, uh, you know, let me check myself here on cosecant. So we got to take 20. Now we want to use sine again because it's the reciprocal identity. Okay, and then take the reciprocal and then take the negative because then there's a negative in front. So yes, they actually worked out. Okay, we can do a similar thing with sine here. Okay, let's start with the we have to look at this time at the reduction identity first because there's a negative angle in here. Okay, so using your reduction angle for sine, it's a negative sine 215. Okay, now you have to go to a co-function, so flip back to the co-function angle. The co-function of sine is cosine, right? So. Cosine of 90, oh, we have to put the negative out there, 90 minus 215 is going to be equal to that sine of 215, right? Because that's cofunction identity. So then reduce it Well, when you minus that, you get negative 125 degrees in there. Then you have to look at the uh, type of re uh, reduction you have there with cosine. And cosine, if you have the negative a cosine of the negative angle, it just stays positive out here. So this will stay negative cosine of 125, positive. And then just do a, a reduction identity. So this become negative sine 90 minus 135, or 125, whoops. So that's negative sine of negative 35. And with sine, the negative comes out in front in the uh, reduction identity. So this becomes positive sine, and this is positive angle 35 degrees. So we can check this one readily on our calculator quite easily, if we want to, because it's sine. So 35 sine, that's a 0 0.5736. And here we have 
215 negative sine. 0.5736. So we're good on both. And that concludes our tutorials for uh, sec section 4.3. In our next tutorial, uh, we'll be looking specifically in uh, sum, and, uh, sum and difference identities uh, and using them to calculate exact values and, and things like that. So that'll be in our next tutorial.